Hey, it's Clay at ClayCharter.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Thursday, September 1st. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are somebody that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. Real quick, a couple of clarification points. First one, the price you see over here will be moving around and changing, and the candlestick you see right there will also be moving. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here, as they're called, represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, AVCT, remaining very volatile, remaining very solid in terms of volume, so a lot of eyeballs on it. And overall, this will mean a bit more to those that watched the video from, what, or excuse me, Tuesday, but talked about this level right here at 47 cents being a key level of resistance. And sure enough, today, this level was uh, has been a problem. Right here, in a cruel sense, meaning the price actually got up above it, but then all of a sudden the price fell back below it. And then this afternoon, you can see the price just went back to flat out rejecting the area. So 47 cents remains a very, very key and stubborn level uh, that you wanna be careful with because as earlier today showed, just because the price breaks above it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a true breakout. Um, so you'll wanna be aware of that. But if 47 cents does truly get broken then the next key level of resistance up there, right around the 54 cent mark, in terms of levels of support, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this level up here now to a newer level at 38 cents. So 38 cents would be that ideal level, meaning you know that would make the chart look the best if the price can hold above there. But from a broad scope of things, as long as the price stays above that purple line, the 50 period moving average keyword being moving. So as time goes by, that line's gonna move itself higher and higher. So as long as the price remains above that line, as the line itself moves higher, then that means that the price overall is in an uptrend. Next, S A or excuse me, S N A P Snapchat here. And very, very eventful day, all sorts of news and things were looking really rough. And then it did actually have a, a strong gap up here. And really ever since then has just kind of consolidated around. But that in and of itself, what makes this very interesting is the consolidation. And that's what a watch list is all about. To find unique, to find interesting situations and not randomly rush out and buy anything, but to watch and see if the price does ultimately behave in a way that fits your strategy and fits your personal risk tolerance. So again, this is an interesting situation because you had all the volume, all the volatility, and then you just had the price essentially go into this tight little range right here. Now, there are no guarantees, but it's a more than valid question to say, okay, is this con you know consolidation here a temporary pause before this thing resumes back up to you know the and continues on with the momentum? Or is this you know gap up here just kind of a, a quick little, uh, you know, kind of spot on the radar and this thing's just gonna resume the overall downward trend. Both of those are very valid, very plausible, but that's why you just wanna watch and see how things ultimately behave and then structure a trade plan around them. But at the core is this is a very interesting situation. This is a very volatile stock, lots of volume, over a hundred million shares today. So worth keeping an eye on. And it's just a question of seeing which way the price can ultimately break from this range. But overall, right now, certainly an interesting setup. Next, N-U-W-E, and I like this, well, for several reasons, but the main reason I like this one is the ability to do this right here. And let me be very clear, me drawing that trend line, I'm not trying to impress you, I'm not trying to imply that I have a special skill or this is a great discovery. I assure you a lot of people have drawn that trend line. And I say all that because when a lot of people are watching the same level, wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can produce some very dynamic movement. So no, I'm not saying it's a guaranteed outcome, but is it, but is it a plausible outcome to think that if the price comes up here and pushes up through that tread line, that that break in and of itself could create quite a bit of upwards buying pressure. That is certainly a very, very plausible outcome uh, that could play out. So definitely keep a close eye on that level right there. And it's really as straightforward as that. In my mind, that tread line is so, you know, just well-defined. A lot of people are gonna be watching it. And that's really the main kind of backbone of this setup right now is can the price get a break back up above that tread line. Next, AMC, and overall, yeah, it was a rough day, but it could have been so much worse. And in fact, right now, there's a lot of good things going on because the price has been in a nice, solid upwards move essentially the entire day, minus that early part of the day. Now, at, th at one point, things were looking really, really bad, not necessarily because of all the red candles, but because the price broke down through that area of support, which was at 890, and I talked about in the previous video, was very, very important because that's a level that the price has not seen in a very, very long time. But to have the price break down below there was not a good sign at all. But to be fair, and this is what kind of circles back to the fact that, you know, this upward move here, this upward move carried it back up above $8.90. So that is definitely very good to see. Uh, and that's going to be a level that you certainly want to see the price that maintain above moving forward. You just don't want to see the price going back below $8.90 because then all of a sudden that would be putting the price right back to where it was. I mean, not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that make a move 
and then go back to where the move started. Not exactly a sign of genuine strength. In terms of levels of resistance, nothing fancy here. It's all about that purple line now. 50 period moving average. You can see that level has acted as resistance there and then acted as resistance there. So if the price does, does continue on up, next key level, let's just call it right up there at about $9.15. But yeah, definitely a nice bounce today. Let's see if the bounce can continue. Stay above 890 and then eventually get up above that 50 period moving average. Next, MULN, and very, very interesting scenario here. Let me just offer up some context here because you can see for the longest time, the price has been trapped down below that purple line, 50 period moving average, just like we were talking on AMC. And you can see several times rejected, rejected. But today the price actually has now broken up above it and made a nice move. Sure, it's pulled back here, but the key point still stands is the price is up above that 50 period moving average, which allows for a, a very interesting question to be thrown out there. Is this the start of a bigger turnaround? Now, to be fair, maybe it's not. Maybe this was just a one day wonder. Maybe this thing just drifts right back and continues on with the trend. But that is a two sided coin because, well, maybe it is the start of something bigger and this thing's gonna keep ripping and roaring over the next few days. Both of those are potential, but the idea, remember, about a watch list is to find the unique, to find the interesting situation. And what makes this interesting? Again, the fact that the price has finally been able to break back up above that purple line, and this all did happen on big solid volume. So is this the start of a bigger turnaround? Is this, you know, kind of day one of a bigger reversal? Maybe, maybe not, but it's worth at least keeping an eye on and seeing what happens with it, especially if you like to play penny stocks. Really quickly, I wanted to pause and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online training that I'm offering here very soon. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used and why it's so powerful in building consistency as traders, then certainly get signed up for the free class. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying what you've seen, and you want to learn more, then certainly get signed up for the free training. Next, BBBY. Had big news out today, which caused the big gap down. But like AMC, you got to give credit where credit's due. The, the price has been working its way higher, has slowly been moving in the upwards direction. So let me change that to green to represent more so a bullish dynamic here of that support level. But the thing you got to keep in mind, and you know, I'm not saying that this you know can't be uh, some sort of bigger reversal, but there's also this resistance area right there at about 10.05. And just to make this all the same color pattern wise. So again, we have the level of support. We have the resistance level across there, but we did have that big momentum move down right there. So this is a bear pennant pattern. Now, let me be very clear, just because it's a bearish pattern does not mean guaranteed the price is going down. Just like if there's a bullish pattern does not guarantee the, you know, the price is going up. My point here is that, yeah, you, you give credit credit to nice bounce here, but I just be a little skeptical of it. I, I wouldn't quite completely trust it because I don't think it would cause any, you know, cause anybody to freak out and be caught off guard and say, well, geez, I didn't see that coming if this price just rolls back over. Cause that, that would just be a, a traditional bear pennant breakdown and continuing with the trend. So yes, the price is making a nice move here. No doubt about that. I'm just saying be a little skeptical of it because the price does still need to prove itself a bit more. But as long as it does stay above that green trend line, then that does show that the bulls are, are maintaining, you know, in the way that they should. Next one, ticker symbol MOB. And like this one, going back to the whole idea of self-fulfilling prophecies, really two main self-fulfilling self prophecy points. So want to be very clear again, I'm not trying to impress, I'm not trying to imply that any of my ability to draw either of these lines is some sort of great talent. I assure you a lot of people have noticed that, okay, $2.90, the price has bounced off there several times. So that's certainly an area of support. You're gonna have people there thinking that the price could bounce, completely valid. You're gonna have people thinking that if the price falls below there, time to get short because that may be the leading indicator of a collapse. Again, totally valid. But that's why risk management matters because somebody's going to be right, somebody's going to be wrong. But the you know the the common denominator there is that that level there is going to be watched by a lot of people, longs and shorts. Same thing up here with that resistance, as I already talked about previously. You know, if the price gets up there and can push up through that level, guaranteed no, but plausible outcome that that could create even more buying pressure from those breakout players. Absolutely. So you want to keep a close eye on that area right there. But yeah, gotta like this one just because of the self fulfilling prophecy attribute and just how well defined each of these levels is. Next, ALLK, and I like this one because maybe just maybe this downwards movement here is finally over and that, you know, this is not going to be a total collapse. Now, it still may be, but that's why, you know, waiting for some sort of confirmation is always uh, wise. And in my mind, that bit of confirmation right there at $5 in terms of maybe this thing wants to reverse back uh, to the upwards uh, direction with a level of support right here at $4.50. So to be fair, again, maybe this is the beginning of the end. Maybe this was just gonna be this one day, you know, move right here, and this thing drops, drops right back to where it was. So that is a possibility, no doubt about it. 
risk management matters. But there is that other possibility. There is that other side of the coin. Well, maybe this pullback is over and this is just the healthy consolidation before this thing gets another surge of momentum back to the upside, which again is where that $5 mark comes into play. So if you like this price range and if you like these areas where, okay, it surged, big movement, showed the ability to move and move very quickly, but now things are calming down a little bit, but maybe this is just a breath before another move. If you like those sorts of setups, you know, with that kind of, you know, quote unquote storyline, then I definitely keep a close eye on this one. Next one, TSLA Tesla. First level here to keep an eye on is right up here at 281.75. Talked about that level previously, and it came into play during the opening 30 minutes. Didn't hit that level exactly, but I think we can all agree, got very close to right up around that area. So that remains that main area of resistance if this current bounce continues, but it's been kind of the theme. There's been several of these bounces out here, but you know, is, is this a genuine bounce? Maybe, gotta give credit where credit's due because it is bouncing. However, once again, I would be relatively skeptical of this bounce because within the grand scheme of things, we have ourselves another one of those bear pennant patterns where we have our support, we have that resistance, we have that momentum move down right there. So another bear pennant pattern with the level that I think a lot of shorts are gonna be watching right down there around the 274.50 mark. Uh, and if that price breaks down through there, uh, does it guarantee anything? No, but would that be valid to think that that could spark continued downwards momentum? Absolutely, but if the price can maintain above that tread line and then make its way back up to that area and break up through it, could that definitely start to spark people thinking, okay, the reversal is here, it's time to head back upwards. Yeah, I could definitely see that, uh, you know, bringing people in too, but uh, you know, at the core, these are definitely gonna be the two main levels that as somebody that does watch Tesla on a daily basis that I'll personally be watching. Next, GRNQ, and this is going back to the whole idea and philosophy of the watch list. Find those unique, find those interesting situations. And yeah, when a stock just all of a sudden explodes with volume and the price movement goes essentially straight up, this is what I would certainly classify as unique and interesting situation, especially if you like to play these stocks down below $5. So moving forward, you got to think this one's setting off all sorts of people's scanners and alar alarm bells. Uh, so $2.80 is going to be that main area of resistance as far as support is concerned have a general area right there. So let me change that again to green to represent the support. And then just to make this all the same color. So we've been talking about some bear pennants, but let's let's talk about a bull pennant here. So we have a resistance, we have our support, we have the big momentum move right there. Let's put the golf hole down there to make it a little bit more visual. So in this situation, we do have a bull pennant pattern, which once more, just because it's a bullish pattern, doesn't mean that the price is gonna go up just like if it's a bearish pattern, doesn't mean it's gonna go down. But you gotta think that a lot of people are watching this pattern and a lot of people are thinking, okay, if this thing can work its way back up to the top of that pattern and get the break, I want to buy that breakout because I'm a breakout player and it's breaking out of a pattern. So again, people buying just because. So that's where that self-fulfilling prophecy comes into play. But uh, 280 definitely seems like a level that I think a lot of people will be watching. So let's see if this bull pennant can get continuation moving into the next few days. That wraps up the top 10. So again, if you like what you saw here and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to help build consistency as a trader, then definitely get signed up for the free class. Like I said, it'll be very soon, Thursday, September 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy this format, do two things for me. Hit the like button and leave a comment. Tell me what you traded today or tell me what you're watching tomorrow. But those two things communicate to me that you enjoy. And as long as I know people are enjoying, I will continue to make these videos. So again, get signed up for the class, hit that like button. Let me know what you traded today or what you're watching tomorrow and everybody take care. Have a good one.